Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Prax, Clinical Director here at Chronic Care Charlottesville. And the lesson for today is carpal tunnel syndrome. This wrist pain that travels into our hand, we want to talk about that. And I would say the most important thing that you need to know is what is causing it. So I'm going to definitely go over that. Most common, it's pain experienced at the wrist and into the hand. But we're going to talk about what are the causes and how to identify it because sometimes the treatment doesn't automatically mean a carpal tunnel syndrome here at the wrist. And let me show you why, okay? So let's go on over here. Let's get you right in here. Open it up. I'm on the computer, went to, um, I don't know what site this is, but hopefully you can see that right there, okay? All right, so carpal tunnel syndrome has to do with the median nerve right here. The median nerve exits the mid to lower part of the cervical spine, the neck. As you can see, it's several nerve roots that come together. They go down through underneath the collarbone, through the muscles here, across the shoulder, go right by the biceps, the muscles here, goes through the elbow, and then hits the carpal tunnel, which we'll have an image a little bit later. And then most importantly, it's going to go to digit one, the thumb, number two, number three, and half of number four. Almost always it's going to be the first three and a half fingers. If you have symptoms that include the little guy, it probably is not carpal tunnel syndrome. Maybe carpal tunnel syndrome, maybe something else, but if you have it in the whole hand and here, then it's probably not carpal tunnel syndrome. Don't run to the surgeon and say, I need you to cut my wrist open. So let's talk about some of the areas that this can be, that this nerve, the median nerve, can be trouble. I just love this image right here. This is done by uh, Netter, a medical doctor. He's drawing it out. It's a ton of nerves, a ton of things, um, arteries, veins, muscles, lots of things are going on in here. It's phenomenal how the human body is put together. But here's that, car, that, uh, that median nerve kind of traveling right down with one of the main arteries that come, out of, um, come off of the aorta. So it goes through. Uh, it's going to go right here at the elbow and then at that point it branches off. Here's the median nerve as it comes down here and there you can see it's feeding the thumb, number one, number two, and half. See that? Half of the ring finger there. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now, so what can go wrong? First of all, a lot of things can go wrong here in the cervical spine, okay? You can have arthritis, scoliosis, degenerative disc, you can have subluxation, misalignment, dislocation, injury. Um, a lot of these things can cause injury. Any injury to the neck can irritate the median nerve and that can show up as pain in the hand, maybe pain in the hand up into the wrist, in, from the elbow up, from the elbow down, a number of different things but it can be any of these right here. Some areas might be silent, like it might not hurt in the neck, but it could show up in the wrist. It might hurt in the wrist, but not in the neck. Somebody's got to look and rule out, do we have cervical radiculopathy, meaning it's irritating here at the neck and going down to the hand, okay? Now, moving forward, let's trace that nerve. As we said, you could also, t tighten that up just a little bit, you could also have trouble across the shoulder. You could have trouble here at the elbow, the biceps. You could have a condition known as pronator teres syndrome. The pronator teres is a muscle. Here it is here. It usually will get really tight and inflamed in this area here. It pronates, meaning it takes the hand and does this. That's its job. It rotates this, this way. If that muscle is really tight, you're going to feel pain here. You're going to feel tightness here. It's going to hurt. But the median nerve comes through that area, and the pronator teres may be irritating the median nerve, and it could show up down here. It could show up in a median nerve distribution or a carpal tunnel-like symptom. But if it's irritated here, don't have your surgeon go cutting here. It's not going to do any good if this is the problem. So we need to check the pronator teres, the alignment of the elbow, the biceps, the arm here, the collarbone, and of course, the uh, shoulder and the neck. We gotta make sure it's all clear through that area there. Here's a great little description, look at that. The median nerve travels right between a hard bone, the elbow, and the pronator teres. Pronator teres tight, it's gonna clamp down on that nerve. Let's go on to the next area. 
So this is a distribution, once again, of how that median nerve comes through. And here it is, it's going through the tunnel. Okay, take a look at this area here. We got the carpal bones, okay, carpal, carpal just means wrist. The wrist bones all stacked in here like this, and then there's a tunnel that's created on top of those bones, but also underneath this ligament. It's called the palmar carpal ligament. So the ligament in here, right underneath that, in fact, I'm pushing on my median nerve. It's not irritated, so it doesn't hurt or anything, but right underneath that ligament, that carpal, or, or that, um, that median nerve travels and goes to those fingers. So through excessive typing, repetition, or injury, or maybe even push-ups or things like that, we can irritate the tendons, we can irritate that ligament, and that can clamp down on the nerve right there. Now again, if you have symptoms that go into one, two, three, and half of four, it could be carpal tunnel syndrome, but make sure you rule out the other areas. Okay, so here we go. One last little image here for you. The median nerve, if it's true carpal tunnel syndrome, the median nerve is compressed at the wrist, resulting in numbness or pain in those areas. By the way, carpal tunnel syndrome only on the palmar surface not on the back surface. Why is that? That's the radial nerve. That's a different nerve. A whole different lesson here coming up in a different lesson. Any pain, numbness, or tingling back here is not carpal tunnel syndrome. It's got to be numbness or pain on this side. Okay? Anyway, that's the lesson for today. What are some things you can do? Number one, get it ruled in, get it ruled out. Is it carpal tunnel syndrome? Is it coming from the wrist or the, or the pronator teres? the shoulder, the neck, where is it coming from so that the proper treatment can be done. Massage, uh, self-massage, I find vibration therapy is helpful. Icing uh, at the area of pain can often be helpful, but you got to find out where it is. If you're icing here, but it needs to be there or here, it's not really going to do any good. Okay. Um, other natural treatments are chiropractic care, traction, spinal decompression therapy, uh, acupuncture, um, sometimes even homeopathy can help out. Number one, get it figured out, get to a doc who can help you figure this out, and then start devising, in my opinion, lower invasive techniques first, working up as those don't work. I hope that helps out on our lesson here today on median nerve entrapment, also known as carpal tunnel syndrome. Thanks, and hope you have a great day.